Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Brayden, Tim, Second Legacy, you are amazing. This is the place where we intertwine 2A humor and sarcasm deployed in mass to be the bunker buster of gun control. And I hope that you guys are enjoying this content. We are going to take a trip to Tennessee today where gun controllers tried to step out of line, got their face smushed in with the Tennessee legislature. This one, I know you guys are going to love. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on. Tim, are you ready to go to the volunteer state? Because, oh, they volunteered here. Yeah, let's... uh. It's going to be what, what, it's gonna This be. is what I don't get. Tennessee is a gun get? state. Why in the world do the gun grabbers think that they're going to make forward progress in a state like Tennessee? Because they are in, in, in the extreme minority there. That's true. <laughs> so. That's a very that's a very observant question, Tim. We're going to break that down in a moment because I think there's something something sinister afoot. Because mm. like you said, you know, you're not going to go into a blue state and then all of a sudden demand that your city is going to be a, I don't know, constitutional carry city. Like, it's just not going to work. You know, he's not going to do that. Yeah, they ain't going anyway, to for it. Right. It ain't going to happen. But then that would be praised. But I, there's something suspicious. But let's get into this. Let me show you how they got smoked from on high. This is number 10 slide, Dr. Slides. Gun control initiatives to be left off the Memphis ballot after the GOP threat to withhold funds. So what happened here was Memphis a leftist city, decided to go, hey, we're going to put uh, red flag laws, AR bans, universal background checks on a ballot, which would conflict with state law. And of course, we're going to do it because it's our city and we want to. And yeah, we know that you guys might be mad, but we're going to do it. And the Tennessee legislature goes, hey, do you want no tax revenue at all? <laughs> okay. Um, keep you know. going. <laughs> yeah, so. It's, it's so good. So I don't, I don't understand um, the Tennessee politics as well as I do my own state, right? We have 50 states. It's hard mm -hmm. to keep up on, on things like supremacy clauses. Do they have such a thing? Is that what this, they're doing this under? Like in Indiana, yes. no jurisdiction, a local jurisdiction cannot pass a law more restrictive or that conflicts they with. Do. That the is what okay. they're doing under. All right. So you that's, are, that's you are over okay. the target. All right. So it's called preemption in some states. There's, uh, there's um, superior or supremacy clauses in other states. But yeah, that's the whole idea. The whole idea is, and this is the problem they knew going into it, Oh, gun controllers. The state of Tennessee was a constitutional carry state. They have a supremacy clause. They have preemption. And then the M Memphis goes, we're going to make our own gun control laws. It worked in <laughs> San Jose, California. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, my God. But let's continue. Let me show you this, because this took the just so you know, the turnaround time from a big, strong standing United front to folding like a, to a cheap suit took about 12 hours. All right. Yeah. Well, they are kind of right. gutless. <laughs> uh, you know, it'd be like that. This is number 11. Memphis, Tennessee. This is from the AP. Election officials in Memphis decided Tuesday to leave three gun control questions off the November ballot after top Republican state leaders threatened to withhold tens of millions of dollars in state funding. What do you think was going to happen? Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, and that's it, that, it, that's probably just the beginning of what would happen to Memphis if they went forward with such a plan. Um, that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's such a bastion of you know legal people. It's not right. It's not and, like known for like shootings and but, crimes and stuff. It, but with the supremacy clause, this is what's so I, I, crazy about an effort like this. So let's say Memphis put it on the ballot, it passed, and then they started arresting people for crimes that they've created out of thin air but it still has to go to a state court for prosecution and the right. state court has to follow state law. So yes. it, it would just, it's it just, thing. yeah, it's just a, a big, Hey, look at me type thing. Because yes. even if it did pass, nothing would come of it because nobody charged with that crime would actually be convicted in a state court. It would be thrown out immediately. Right. That's, that's exactly correct. So the, like, so this is kind of the part where, you know, I was telling you like, there's kind of like something suspicious kind of going on. What do you bet? And I did, it's a working theory. It's still in development. So don't quote me on it, Tim. Okay. Why do you bet that every town for gun safety, March for Our Lives, Giffords.org, Brady Center for Gun Violence, probably got in with some of the uh, people in Memphis, which, interestingly enough, Memphis is the same place that's represented by one of the Tennessee Three. That's, you know, the big star in Tennessee. I'm sure there's no correlation and connection there. Uh, right. And probably said, you should do this and we'll, we'll back you. It's OK. Yeah. Well, how'd that work out? And, and look at the timing, Braden. We're just what a couple timing? of months out from a, a major election. Right? Oh, I'm shocked. And and so this is your typical leftist political stunt, which they know has mm -hmm. no chance of doing anything, accomplishing any of their stated goals. It's purely a hey, look at me moment trying mm -hmm. to. So 
in essence, what they've probably done here, knowing full well this would get shut down by the state legislature, what they've done here is like, look what the evil Republicans have done. We tried to pass common sense yep. gun controls in Memphis, and the evil Republicans stopped us. That, oh, that's all this is. Okay. Just wait till the end because that Keep, you, hold, put a pin in that because it's okay. going to come in as spades in a minute. Okay. All right. So this. Keep in mind, people. I don't 12. read these articles. He's nope. surprising me with this stuff. <laughs> no, I'm surprising. It's just like a little happy. Woo. Um, <laughs> that's why you never know what you're going to get with Tim. It could be gerbils. It could be frowning. You don't yeah, know. You just never know. Um, that's part of the adventure. It's a choose your own adventure for me every day. Where I'm like, are we going to get banned today? Anyway, um, so. <laughs> This is number 12. This is some of the backstory. Okay, so listen to the details here. On Monday, Tennessee's election coordinator, Mark Goins, sent a letter to the Shelby County Election Commission warning that the gun control measures violated several of Tennessee's laws, making them void and ineligible to be placed on the ballot. The letter was sent hours after House Speaker Cameron Sexton and Senate Speaker Randy McNally issued their state funding ultimatum. That's the you're not going to get tens of millions of dollars because you're bad. Right. Um, so this is where, this is where it kind of goes into what you were saying with the state. Goins added that unequivocally, oh, excuse me, unequivocal declarations by the General Assembly left no authority for Memphis officials to propose such amendments to the city's charter. Goins also raised concerns the city had not properly followed the public notice procedures required to put a referendum referendum on the November five ballot. So not only did they overstep the state legislature, not only did they not follow the procedures, this was doomed from the start. Yeah. So it goes back to what I was saying earlier. 100%. Political it stunt. Does. Purely a political stunt. Oh, dude, stunt. Listen, listen to what they said. Okay, again, remember, they did this in like a 24, 12, 15, something hour period, right? Less than a day. This is number 13. In a statement, the Shelby County Administrator of Elections, Linda Phillips, said the state elections coordinator guides the commission in running elections, and we're going to follow his directions. Get wrecked. I mean, like... <laughs> It's such a game, dude. And to your point, this is literally, oh, God, dude, it's so frustrating because someone who doesn't pay attention to this goes, well, those Republicans are being mean. They yeah. just want to run their own city. Why are they not letting them do that? That mean old legislature in Tennessee yeah. or reality. Well, leftists have no respect for the law unless the law supports whatever lunacy they support. Mm. So yeah. laws are optional to them. Well, more, well, they're treated more or less as suggestions. That's why they do things like, you know, ban firearms in Illinois and make you register them. And then we wind up in the Supreme Court challenging their stupidity. That is true. It's a lot of work, but I'm glad to do it. Glad to do it, Tim. In fact, speaking of a little bit more uh, outrage, it's coming because this is, this is how they, they tried to do this. I'm going to read what they tried to do and then show you what how they're turning it to making mean Republicans, as you said. Very astute, by the way. This is number 14. Earlier this year, the Memphis City Council approved a proposal to ask voters if they wanted to tweak the city charter to require permits to carry a handgun, ban the possession of AR-15 style rifles, and implement so-called red flag ordinances, which allows law enforcement... Yeah, you know what that is. The council had acknowledged at times that they were potentially risking the ire of the Republican-dominant legislature since the measures likely conflict with Tennessee, tax or Tennessee gun laws. Regardless, council members representing the large black majority left-leaning city said they were willing to take the risk. Well, how did that work out? At least for a couple of hours. Um, I mean, like, right. Like, <laughs> you, you know you're funny? saying they know it's not right. <laughs> we're going to ban the possession of AR-15 style rifles. Do they not know <sighs> that there are thousands of other rifles out there oh, <laughs> that aren't AR-15s? It. <laughs> it's just so funny it how they... Just the propaganda has come to such a oh. fine point on the far left that they have their own oh, people yes. convinced it's just AR-15s just they should that. be scared of. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> not Even the criminal statistic. wielding them, not Even AKs. Statistics. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope, statistics, it does not, it is a statistical zero of AR-15s used in crimes. But that doesn't matter because yeah. the left has told them that it's ARs. Oh right. my God, scary black rifle. I, I suspect Draco pistols are more used in crime than AR-15s. You know but, what? Let's go on that rabbit trail. I really don't like those. <laughs> I like, like the Draco. It's a neat little that, thing, but it's, it's, yeah, it's mostly cool useless. Novelty. It's <laughs> it a, is a novelty. That's what I mean. It's a yeah. freaking hand cannon where you're just holding it, and it's just like it's like a thunder. It's like thunder in your hand is what it is. It's just like yeah. boom, 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 and it's like oh, that was fun. Anyway, I, what I hit, nothing. <laughs> the, the ground right over there. But anyway, yeah, this is where the anger comes in, Tim. Uh -oh. Again, you sniffed it out at the very beginning, you, like a bloodhound of freedom. That's what you are. State Representative Justin J. Pearson. This is one of the Tennessee three, just so you know. Quote, I am furious and disappointed 
that the Shelby County Election Commission felt that it needed to yield to the tyrannical and authoritarian actions of the Republican leadership of the state. They are abusing their positions and authority to intentionally circumvent the will of the people in our city. Oh, my God. (laughs) There it is. They're authoritarian actions. Yeah, following state law uh, of Uh the Republican leadership. (laughs) They're abusing their positions. Oh, my God. Uh, Yeah, is that what you call enforcing state law, abusing your position? The will of the people. You know, Tim, I'm just going to throw a hypothetical at you. I just threw this out there in my video when I talked about this. I think I think that the people of Memphis have decided that uh, murder is now something that should not be a crime. Yep. The will of the people. So it's the will of the people. And so if the legislature is going to come out and say, no, you can't murder people. Oh, my God. What Tim, abuse of the power. authoritarianism, yeah. the abuse of power. All the people want to do is have the right to make their own decisions and look at these, this circumvention of the will of the people. It's that stupid. Yep. It is. They are stupid. And it's just funny that they make that statement because they're so predictable. It's not yes. like I have crystal balls. No, you I, have crystal balls. <laughs> I, you can tell the future. I, I know these. I've been around these people far too long, and they're so predictable. It's the same thing every time. Right. They can't help themselves. <laughs> they are not original. They, they, they can't. They couldn't come up with an original thought to save their lives. I mean, you can see this all the way to the top of the ticket that we, we're going to be facing in November. You have Harris out there that's now literally stealing Trump's talking points. Every one of his policies, she has nothing on her website. All she needs to do from her website is link to Trump's for her policy positions because she's adopting all of his. They lie to your face, <laughs> and they're so predictable. They do the same thing over and over again. And one of my favorite tools that they like to whip out every once in a while is projection. So oh, yeah. they accuse you of what it is they're doing. Mm-hmm. 100%. It, oh, well, these Tim, they, circumvented, they circumvented the will of the people. I mean, yeah, they, the will of the they, people. The will of the people in Memphis, they just wanted to have their own individual gun control laws that just happened to mirror the exact talking points nationally of every town for gun safety. But I'm sure that's a coincidence. Yeah. Um, well, you know, let's put okay, the will yeah. of the people on the ballot and see if they like that. Do you want to do you want to continue paying state taxes? Yes or no? Hey, oh, wait let's a minute. Let's see what the will of the people brings about taxes? there. Yeah, yeah, what right? about federal taxes? Hey, what about uh, what about all the other little hot button object topics? How about some welfare? How about abortion? yeah? Let's put all that on the ballot and see what the let's will just of the do people all says. Direct democracy. Yeah, how about you want that cupcake? No, they 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 think they want that until it actually comes to pass, and then no, oh, we can't have that. Those evil Republicans. What? Uh, yeah, we don't uh, know, but we gotta stop them. Yeah. We, exactly. It's it's. It's a very serious thing, Tim, but I'm, I'm glad we came through this and we exposed the abusing of the authoritarianism. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's I, hope, crazy. I, I, I hope those authoritarian Republicans stop with mm. the nonsense of enforcing state law and oh, protecting the citizens that you know, actually voted to, to support the, those state laws. And, and ratified and, the Constitution. And ratified their state part. Constitution. Yeah. All that stuff, yeah. yeah I mean, weird. gosh. Oh, democracy. All right. Anyway, democracy. Folks. That's what I got for you. <laughs> All right, folks. Great story. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Second Legacy. We'll talk to you guys soon.